afternoon to all of you. Today is Friday. And every Friday we destroy the works of Satan in kile, your life. Friday is the day we destroy the spirit of witchcraft. Curses. Laana, bad dreams. Mbaya, addiction. Uraibu. It's the day we fight against dark powers. Dark forces that are operating in your life. These are problems that are brought by evil spirit or spiritual problems. Maybe you say, Pastor, but I don't have. Just say, maybe you are not aware that it's Satan working in your life. Until now, even myself, I still fight, still pray for my deliverance. Not that I'm not delivered, but because Satan do not die. Evil spirit does not die. So we Christians cannot sleep and think we are okay, everything fine. Because once you stop making your chain of prayer for your deliverance, Satan gains power to destroy your life. That's why you should always be making your chain of prayer for deliverance. Please, now close your eyes and lift up your hands. Our heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask you to anoint the hands of these people with your power. That when they lay these hands on top of their head, your power through their hands will destroy every evil, Every demon, every witchcraft, every curse, every spirit of bad dreams, every negative forces against their lives. And these people will be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Now put your hands on top of your head and think about your problems. What is it that Satan is causing in your life? What is it that you are tra- is troubling you? Satan could be behind whatever you are facing. Maybe you are struggling with alcoholism. Drugs. You are addicted to bad habits. Watching pornography and masturbation. There are evil forces that are leading you to do this. We are going to pray for you. Keep your eyes closed. My Lord, in Jesus' name, I pray for these people wherever they are. We stretch our hands toward their houses, their homes, their offices, those who are attending this service in offices, wherever they are, in here in Kenya and out of this country. We stretch our hands to them, my God. And we pray that your fire from heaven will burn every evil. Every demon, let your fire destroy the works of Satan in their life. Yes, you spirit of the devil, you spirit of witchcraft and curses, the demons of suicide thoughts, the evil spirit that's causing nightmares, the demon that's causing cloud of darkness in this person's heart. You make this person feel empty. You make this person feel sad. You make this person feel unhappy is your Satan. But I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ, the evil that want to destroy this marriage, the demon that brings fights and misunderstandings, the demons of confusion in this family. You make the children of this woman to be addicted to alcohol, to be addicted to drugs. You make this family to have division. Is you Satan? But I rebuke you in the name of Jesus and I command you, spirit of Satan, come out of this family. I command you, spirit of darkness, leave this family. I command you, spirit of poverty, to come out of this house. You do not want this family to find jobs. Every time they get a job, they lose it. Every time this person finds a business, he loses a business. 
is you Satan. You want this person to suffer. You want this person to be a failure. You want this person to be a loser. You do not want this child to finish the study. But I rebuke you. And I command in Jesus name. Leave. Come out of this family. You spirit of alcoholism. You spirit of drugs. You spirit of depression. The evil that's causing suicide thoughts in the life of this person. The demon of bad dreams and nightmares. Come out of this person's life. And never come back again. Take everything that belongs to you. And in Jesus name, leave. And never come back again. In the name of Jesus. Repeat after me. Say, Lord my God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask you to send your fire in my life, in my family, and burn every evil, every demon, every witchcraft, every curse, every spirit of sickness in my life, in my family. In the name of Jesus, say you Satan, wherever you are, against my life, against my family, Receive fire. Receive fire. Receive fire. Receive fire, Satan. In the name of Jesus, say, come out of my life. Remove your hand from your head and say, get away from me, Satan. Leave my family. And never come back again. In the name of Jesus. Now find freedom. Find deliverance. Find liberty. In the name of Jesus. Now ask God to bless your life. Ask God to bless your life. Say my God bless your life. Give me victory in the name of Jesus Christ. My God I ask you to bless the lives of your people. I pray that you'll bring victory to these people's lives. Make these people to be overcomers. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, say Amen. Amen. You are blessed. You are free. In the name of Jesus. But as I advised you, you need to make your chain of prayer every Friday. Because Satan does not die. He can come out of your life and live. But Jesus said he will try to come back again. So the only way you can be free from evil spirit one is to surrender your life to Jesus Christ. Abandon evil. Abandon sins and surrender your life to Jesus Christ and receive the Holy Spirit then Satan cannot come into your life. But even still you need to make your chain of prayer for deliverance. Now, let us go to the word of God in the book of Hebrew chapter 3, verse 15. We're going to share something with you. Today is the day of decision. Many people suffer not because they were born to suffer. Many people suffer not because they are orphans. Some people say, I'm, I'm suffering because I'm an orphan. My mother died while I was three years. Or my father died while I was three years old. And I have no one to help me. I've been struggling and that's why I'm suffering. Some people suffer and they think because they never finished studies. So they take that as an excuse. They say, no, I was schooling. But due to lack of school fees, I dropped uh, out of school. And because of that, I'm suffering. Many people suffer because they separated. They say, I was once married. But things happened and we separated. And because of that, I'm kwa, suffering. Kwa ya Some, they say, the reason we are suffering is because we are cast. Ni kwa sababu uh, my family is cast. Yangu and that's why me and my family, we are suffering. Some people say, 
I'm only suffering because my stepmother bewitched me. Many people look for reasons to why they're suffering. But I've never had someone saying I'm suffering because I am disobedient to God. I'm suffering because I rebel against God. People, I've never seen people saying this. And yet, that is the main reason why people are suffering. I don't mean there is no witchcraft. There is witchcraft. I don't mean there are no orphans. There are people whom who lost their parents while they were young. There are people who came out, who dropped out of school. There are all those reasons. But if all this category choose to give their life to Jesus and walk with him, their life will change. Well. The word of God says, Hebrews chapter 3 verse 15, while it is said, today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion. This is an advice that comes from the Holy Spirit. The word of God says today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Make a decision not to harden your heart toward the word of God. This is the reason why people are suffering. Not because of witchcraft. Not because of, I don't know, curses. People are suffering. The world is in chaos. Because people have made their hearts hard toward the word of God. And if you make your heart hard and continue making it hard, even if you go to church and read the Bible and fast, things will continue being rough and bad for you. Why the history of Israelites changed under the leadership of Gideon? Gideon made a decision to listen and obey the voice of God. He did not make his heart hard toward the word of God. When God told him, Gideon, break down the altar of Baal in your father's house. And raise a new altar for me. And take that second bull of your father and sacrifice. Gideon did not make his heart hard. Instead, he obeyed the voice of God. And God gave him victory. That's when Israel found victory over their problems. So if you want to find victory over your problems, you want your life to change, you need to make a decision to obey, to hear the voice of God. God is calling you to the altar. God is calling you to put your trust in him. God is calling you to make your sacrifice and depend on him. God is calling you to remove your faith from people. From human beings. From whatever little you have in your account. From your business and your properties. And put your faith in him. That's why God is calling you on the earth. And if you will hear his voice and obey. Great things will happen to your life. You will be an overcomer. You will become a winner. And that is it. That's why this Sunday, we are bringing our sacrifice to the altar of God. Your financial sacrifice will represent your life. 
and you'll put it here on the altar. And you'll tell God, I'm depending on you. I'm way, I, I depend on your help. And God will fight for you. Like he fought for Gideon and the, and the children of Israel. So if you've not yet received your envelope, even today, the day of decision. Make a decision. Come to the altar. Pick your envelopes. Or go to any universal church near your house. Get your envelopes. But if you are much far from any universal church branch, and you want to take part in this campaign, here are the details of how you can make your sacrifice. Get these details and you will make your sacrifice. Because on Sunday, we are going to lay our lives on the altar of God. We are going to depend on God and God will fight for us in the name of Jesus. Close your eyes now. Let us pray. Our Lord in Jesus' name, your word says today, not tomorrow, but today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. Maybe this person has been hardening the heart. He hears you calling him. We here on the altar can't see him or her. But wherever they're watching, God is calling. Make a sacrifice. It's like fire burning in this person's heart. Go to the altar. But this person has been making her heart hard. His heart hard. But your word says today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Make a decision, my friend. It's a day of decision. Make a decision to come to the altar. To depend on God. Overcome your fears. And lay your life in the hands of God. Maybe God has been calling you to come out of this wrong way of living. You live in alcoholism, in drugs, in prostitution. You are snatching people's husbands. And God is calling you from all this. So that he can bless you and make you a happy woman. But maybe your heart has been hurt. Today, make a decision to surrender your life to him. Make your decision right now. Make your prayer. Tell him, I go today. I, I, I decide to listen to your voice. To be led by your word. To depend on you, my God. And nothing else. Ask him to help you. Invite him to give you strength. Strength that comes from the Holy Spirit. Oh, come, Holy Spirit. To strengthen your people. To guide them. To bless them. In the name of Jesus. We make a decision today, my God. To surrender our life to you. To do your will. And to please you. In Jesus' name we pray. Receive the strength of God. The power that comes from the Holy Spirit. Listen to his voice. And obey it. And your life will change. Totally. God does not care if you are educated or not. If you are cast or not. If they are doing witchcraft against you or not. If you are if you are born in a poor family or not, all this God does not care. All he cares is, are you obedient to his voice? Are you willing to trust in him? To depend on him? If you do that, he will be your God. He will fight for you. He will give you salvation. He will give you victory. In Jesus' name. May God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You are so much blessed. So obey the voice of God. And you will overcome. In 
Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. We're going to finish our prayers in very few minutes. Tumaliza maombi yetu kwa dakika chache. As soon as we finish the service, pindi ibada inapoisha, you are free to give your tithes and your offerings. Kwa huru kutoa fungu lako la 10 na Through the details that you've just taken. Kupitia maelezo ambayo umepata. And through the same details that you've received, you will send your your sacrifices your tithes and your offering on Sunday. We shall have another service at 5 p.m. Most strong prayer for deliverance. And then tomorrow we pray against impossible problems. And don't miss this Sunday. Usikose Jumapili. Our services of 8 o'clock in the morning. Baada yetu ya saa 2 asubuhi. And the main service of the day 10 o'clock. Baada kuu ya siku sanne. Have a very blessed day. Kwa na siku iliyobarikiwa. Life. I remember another campaign was introduced in the faith, in the faith of Gideon. In that campaign, I ask God to give me an inspiration of what to do in terms of business. He gave me an idea to open a private college. He also gave me strength to resign from that current job, uh, from that job, and it was not easy. I opened the college, and it did not stop there. It's, a, it's the best car because it was good on offload. I placed it on the altar. I did this because I believe. So I believe God would bless me more. And not only that, I gave the car and I also gave the best furniture of my business. Um, after that, God answered me by giving me another. He gave me another inspiration. And this inspiration is to open up a shop that has to do with IT products, that has to do with, you know, stationaries, that has to do with, you know, even by now it's even expanded. I'm also selling, you know, food items and, you know, all the products that could be found in the supermarket. Today, God has blessed my life. Uh, among others, God gave me the blessed marriage. He also taught me to value my wife. Today, I am baptized with the Holy Spirit. This is the greatest, you know, blessing of all that I ever received from God. My advice to those who are listening to me is that do not give up. God has not given up upon you as he as he changed my life, he can change your life too.